Welcome back. I'm Forbes Adventurer columnist Jim Clash. Sensors Unlimited founder Greg Olson has already spent $20 million of his own money to orbit the Earth in the International Space Station. Now Greg's looking at a $100 million ticket for a trip around the moon, and he's with us today to talk about it. Welcome, Greg. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Uh, I guess the first question I want to ask you, we have a lot of business viewers out there, and they mm -hmm. want to know how you came up with $20 million to go on your first space flight. Can you tell us quickly how you did that? Sure can. I started a high-tech company called Sensors Unlimited, together with Marshall Cohen back in 1992. And it was just really a research and development company. You know, we make uh, optical chips that emit and detect light. And we just struggled for about five or six years. And then in the late 90s, all of a sudden, Marshall discovered that the telecommunications people loved our products that sensed light. And we just took off. And when the telecom boom peaked, people wanted to buy us for all kinds of outrageous amounts of money. How much, how much did you sell it for? We sold the company for six hundred million to Finisar Corporation. Yeah. And wonderful people, and uh, you know, I used that money to go into space. And you're a self-made guy, right? Kind of. You know, we actually <laughs> bought the company back and resold it this yeah. year. Uh, that's, that's fabulous. Tell me, I mean, people out there also want to know. Everybody wants to know what's it like to be in space. What, what was your you know one moment that you can remember the most from orbiting the Earth? Sure, just floating when I first got on the space station, floating and looking down at the Earth, seeing the blue sky. Uh, I always say it was the best experience of my life after the birth of my daughters, Kristen and Kim. Uh, just fabulous to float. I mean, it's magical. And every morning I would wake up and I would just float and say, "Wow, I'm the luckiest guy in the world." How about the view? The view is spectacular. I mean, you know, the Earth is really round. I can say that <laughs> firsthand. Uh, and you realize that the sky is so thin. You know, it's like the shell of an egg around a hard-boiled egg. I mean, it, you know, the breathable air is probably, what, three miles, three, four miles maximum. So, you know, it's really fragile, but just so beautiful. I mean, we saw hurricanes. I saw New Orleans after the flood, wow. which was, you know, kind of sad. But I saw some beautiful sights, too. That's amazing. You can actually see that kind of detail from up that high. Oh, yeah, yeah. and especially with a telephoto lens. I mean, I, I was lucky to fly with Sergei Krikalov, who's arguably the best there is at photography in space. Amazing. Now, Space Adventures, the company that took you up, just announced that they're going to uh, have a program to go around the moon for $100 million. Yes. And I think someone told me that you're interested in that. First of all, uh, is it feasible? And secondly, would you do it? Uh, yeah, it's feasible. I mean, the Soyuz is originally designed to be a, a lunar vehicle, so it, it's certainly capable of doing it. I mean, they'd need to, you know, develop some new guidance system and motion control mm -hmm. systems, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's doable. Um, they've got the people for it. I, I'd sure like to have Sergei Krikalov along if I was going to do it, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested in doing it. I, I may have to sell another company in order to do it, but... You mean you don't have $100 million sitting in T-bills right now? Well, I'll have to check with my accountant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bert Rutan won the X Prize, uh, uh, I think it was a little over a year and a half ago, and, uh, you know, everybody's excited about suborbital space, and Space mm -hmm. Adventures, of course, is booking trips, and Richard Branson's building right. a Virgin Galactic. Do you think he can get it done by 2008? Do you think he can actually bring tourists suborbitally with Virgin Galactic, and would you ever go up suborbitally now that you've actually done orbital flight? I certainly think it's possible, and I think it's really exciting that guys like Bert Rattan are out there trying to get uh, the civilian population in space, because, you know, it's something we're all for. Um, while, uh, you know, it's, it's not the same as uh, orbiting the Earth as Space Adventures provides, you know, I, I'd consider doing it. But uh, I think I'd like to go to the moon instead. <laughs> and it's a mere $200,000. For you, that's nothing, right? <laughs> Listen, you're, you're kind of a, a bit of a celebrity now after having come back, uh, what was it last October? Yes. Um, what are you doing with your time now? And, and what are those gloves? All right, these gloves <laughs> were given to me by the uh, Russians as soon as you land. That's a souvenir they give you. They take your gloves off. Now, I still don't have my space suit, which mm. I'm waiting to get from the uh, But these flew with Russians. you? These have been in yes. space? Yes, wow. and uh, you know, I was lucky that uh, you know to get these as a souvenir, and you know, all people that fly. But since I uh, I've come back, uh, I've been going around to schools giving space talks, and my goal is to get more American kids to go into science and engineering. You know, so I use the space thing as a lure. Everybody wants to see the space trip, and you know that get that whets their appetite. 
But, uh, you know, I tr try and sell them on math and science. I also try and tell them that if you struggle with math, like I did in school, yeah. don't give up. That's the message I give to them. Yeah, and you were just came back from a trip, didn't you, to high school uh, this, this afternoon? I did Ridgefield Park High School where I graduated. And, uh, that's in New Jersey. Last, yes, that's yeah. in New Jersey in Bergen County. I did that last week. And today I was up in Harrington Park and also my hometown of Montgomery, New Jersey, speaking to kids. And I love it. Well, Greg, that's great. Listen, thank you very much for coming. I'm going to shake your hand with this space glove on. All right. Come back and see us again. Okay. Once again, Greg Olson, Astro Tourist. I'm Jim Clash. For more adventures, check out my column in Forbes magazine. Thanks for joining us on the Forbes.com video network.